All right, I'm not going to make this video long because it's currently 11 o'clock. Look, wait, can you see this? It's 11 o'clock. Look. 11 p.m. The image will be flipped for you, I think, because of I, my camera's flipped. But I've just got off a 12-hour, just over a 12-hour live stream, in fact. And today, there was a satisfactory dev stream. And they showed a little bit of a teaser, which I wasn't expecting. I'm not going to lie to you. It might be a bit graphical. But I went for a BRB break because I needed a number two. <laughs> bit graphic. I'm sorry. I come back, and then chat was just spamming me. Just links of clips and clips like, bitch, you missed something. I'm like, what? What did I miss? So I sat down, opened a clip, and I got shown this. I'm going to go over to my editing software because I downloaded the clip so I can kind of see frame by frame what was in it and all that kind of stuff because there's some juicy things in regards to the summer sloop and this weird void thing. So let's go over to my editing software um, and then kind of put you in this corner. So you can kind of see I put it in here and I'm kind of going through frame by frame, but I want you to kind of watch it. But actually, it'd be easy if you watch it as a full video, right? instead of watching it through an editing video player. So I go into downloads, go into the... And it just does this. This is all that happens. Little static stuff. And it looks like the pioneer's reaching out for it. And then, he, and then we just get this. This is the longest clip we've had of this, new enough, except without it speaking. So we can kind of look at this and it's like, what in holy balls are we looking at? And then it starts shrinking. Well, did you see that little clip that flashed? We'll get to that in a second. And then that was it. That was all it was. So let's go back into this. And I want to show you what was seen in this clip. So before, I, when I was looking at this and it was getting smaller and smaller, I want to go over this first before we go over the summer sloop thing. The first thing that comes to my mind is something similar that's in No Man's Sky with the red ball, kind of like how No Man's Sky, well, I forgot what the red ball's called, and it kind of speaks to you. Uh, is it the, not the anomaly, is it? It's the big triangle thing, and it speaks to you. That's the first thing that come to mind. The next thing that come to mind was he looks like he stood and looking at the sky. And he's like, he's reaching out to going, ooh, you know, like the aliens from Toy Story. Like, oh, the claw kind of thing, right? So then I started looking at it. And then do you know what it reminded me of? Because it, it expands and then... Oof. It looks like a portal. And when I mean by a portal, I don't mean like a teleportation thing. I mean a warp drive. Does that make sense? It looks like, and that is the eye. That, that's where you're gonna be like zooming to. Because if you look at this, everything's kind of being sucked into the middle. And I'm like, is this a warp drive? And then it's when it shrinks, and then I believe, What's happening here is like a vacuum because that's what portals do, right? It's a vacuum and then it pings something out. And I think that's what's going to happen literally right here when it cuts out because this could be where project assembly is coming from. So it's like, and it comes in. Maybe I feel like that's crazy animations <laughs> and sound effects, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. And it's like, that's the only way I can kind of see in this. And and I was like, this purple in the game looks familiar. So I was like, is there somewhere on the map where there is a purple biome? And so I thought, wait, am I? I'm on the, I need to go in the game screen. So I went into, I need to go into game and I decided to start flying around. And I was like, hold up a minute. I went around everywhere. And the last place to check was actually the bamboo forest. And we start seeing the purple. So I was like, I know like Snook can do editing stuff and he more than likely has done, but that's the, is, is it is it me or is, it's a little bit lighter, but like, I'm just wondering if there's anywhere else on the map. It's kind of like that purple, the fog of war. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's no other place where you can kind of see that. So I was just wondering, it's like, is that maybe Spire Coast? Maybe, 
No, it's kind of like a gray. So I don't know if it's just a visual effect and it's something they've kind of done, but then it wouldn't explain the voices unless the voices are not even a part of that void thing. Like we're thinking of it as like, uh, like I said, with the, the, the No Man's Sky red eye thing. What if, if you detach the voice from it, then that voice stuff is actually some form of another way of we get communication from whatever's on the other side of that warp. If you kind of think about it, it makes sense, right? I would do that. Like, oh, it's a mysterious orb thing. Maybe it is an orb and we are getting information from it. Maybe it is something to do with the Mercy Spheres, but I still think Mercy Spheres are teleportations. That's the only thing that's coming to mind. I'm just going to keep flying around a bit more. We're not even going to touch the... Actually, Blue Crater Lake. Blue Crater Lake, maybe? Maybe? No, this is too blue. Okay, maybe I'm just overthinking here about this, but it could just be a video effect that maybe Snut's done. But it does kind of remind me of a warp. So I'm just going to go back over here real quick, and then I'm going to go back into the editing software. Like I said, I've just got off a stream, so my I'm kind of hyped right now because uh, we've had a, a fun day. So if you was in the, involved in the stream today, thank you so much for joining. As you know, uh, things were chaos. Things were chaos. Um, so again, thank you for the love and the support. Um, but I'm just checking on my where my food delivery is. But then we got... An Why did I just get flashbanged? Then we got this little clip here, which if I go frame by frame, I'm going to bring this out so you can see a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit better. And then we zoom in like this. And if we go by frame by frame, look what we see. It's the new building. It's like a hedgehoggy looking building. And this is raising my suspicions more, especially with like these like, what are them flowers called that kind of... No, not a flowers. It's kind of like um, uh, water grass. What the bloody hell is going on with that light? <laughs> it's just flashing. I don't know if someone's in like in the live stream right now, just whilst I'm offline, just flashbanging me or something. But I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's like let me just go back over here. It's like a, a sprinkler, but if you would think of it like multiple ways, and it radiates stuff, right? And then. If we look at this, it's, I thought, because we were speculating today what the building could look like, and I thought it might look like a hamster wheel. So it might be only, you know, two legs and that in the middle. Because in the actual shot of the other image that we saw, the teaser, you only see one leg here and one leg there. So I thought, okay, it might just be like a, a circle, but this is a bigger building than I think it is. But I do believe it could be potentially the same thing I discussed in yesterday's video. So I'll leave a little tag you know, up here. I don't know where I'm pointing to right now, but no, that side. I'll leave a tag up here. Um, you can kind of click on if you want to go and see the Mark II, Mark III potentially come into the game. That's the video it's in, by the way. Um, but yeah, like, there's nothing we can really break down from this. The only thing we can tell is the area that this is built in, this machine, is the same that the coffee stain um, first trailer was in. So if you look here, you can see the um, what's it called? Space elevator. And then you've got this um, buffer down here. It's been a long day. I'm telling you, my brain's already fried. Then you've got a battery, and then you've got the building right here with the quantum encoder on it. So keep that in mind, right? Because if I go over to YouTube, let me just do this because I don't want to spill any beans on anything I might be showing you. Actually, it's a good point because I had my emails open. <laughs> um, so if I um go over to thinking yeah, i'm not this is going to be like an unedited video by the way just because i'm trying to get this done because i'm not going to lie i'm pretty tired i need some food it's 11 o'clock at night and i've got a full day worth of prepping youtube stuff i want to get, get done before this marathon so you kind of just seen everything raw so let me go into this trailer okay here we go so this trailer right here look familiar well, this is where the thing, we mentioned this in stream today as soon as I got the clip, is that there's a, the big buildings here, here's the encoder, here's the buffer, here's the storage, and here's this. So if we go back over here, this has no no information in regards to what could be coming, but, you know, I'm just kind of analysing the video, really. It's literally a, a frame. I'm going too deep into this. I think I've got an addiction or something to trying to figure out what's going on with 1.0. And... Uh, I think we're heading in the right direction. Um, and it, I know this this is the, the, the warp thing I was kind of talking to you about. I think this is just a transition. I, I don't think it has anything to do with the sky. 
It could be, I don't know, and it's not playing mind games on me uh, or what. But yeah, I don't know. But I'm just gonna call that video there. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, I still believe that this is gonna be the building that is gonna emit the radius onto the machines um, to give us boost, boost. Um, but yeah, I don't want to talk about that much more. We've talked about it. Check out the other video, which is up here anyway. Um, keep smiling and have a good rest of your evening. I'm going to have some food, chill out, and crack on with a ton of work tomorrow. So <laughs> I'll see you then. So keep smiling. See you in the next video.